All right, so going over how I land and how we kind of do our LHA approaches for 231. Um, right now I'm in Delta 2,000 feet, circling around the ship. I've been cleared into Charlie. So maintain around 350, 375 knots, 2,000 feet. Um, doing a little bit tighter of a turn than what I would usually do here. That's just because we have the Stennis Battle Group right there in front of us. I'm trying to deconflict with those guys because there are some warrants out here right now. Also, coming on the downwind side of this Delta pattern. Um, and I can explain what Delta and Charlie is and all that you know, at a later time. So um, basically when I go from Delta to Charlie, Charlie's basically commencing. And whenever I come into Charlie, I want to be about 350 knots and 1,000 feet. Uh, and about three nautical miles behind the uh, behind the LHA, so whenever I do commence into that. So at this point, we've already kind of swept the cockpit, setting up for for our landing. Um, looking down at fuel, I'm at 2,000 pounds, well within my hover weights. I've got my stow stop set for probably be around 80, 81 on my nozzles. And getting a good position on uh, where I'm at inside the delta pattern at 2,000 feet. So I'm going to go ahead and start descending down now to 1,000 feet and start bringing my speed back to capture that 350 knots. lag spike so I know this uh, cruiser right here behind the LHA is about the three mile mark so here I'll go ahead and make my call and I'm commencing Charlie five zero is commencing Charlie we don't use flight call signs we don't use individual player call signs whenever we come into paddles contact like I just did uh, it's basically our mod X or our board numbers so 350 knots pretty much on BRC of the boat Friction of the ship, uh, right about a thousand feet. On the flyover, make sure, confirm I got a clear landing spot, which I do. Twelve second count. And I'll do my break. Watch my stopwatch. 10, 12. 5 zero on the break. Dart will come down. Flaps to V-stall. About 10 AOA on angle of attack. And I'm looking for 130 to roll out. Below 250. Comes down the gear. Water's on. Start feeding, feeding in nozzles. Slow up my turn rate just a little bit. Bringing nozzles all the way down to 60. Some guys fly this around 45, uh, between 45 and 60 on their approaches. I fly nozzles at 60 just to slow it down a little bit. Altitude should be around 600 feet at this point. Look that I'm a beam, which I am, giving my beam call. 5 0 to beam, gear down 1.8 wet. Confirming my gear is down. I do have water configured for landing. Uh, good altitude where I'm at here. Start making my left. Um, I use quite a bit of left rudder in this turn. Holding throttle to keep my descent down. Should be crossing around 300 here on the 90, which I'm pretty close to. Looking at the LHA, checking my lineup, everything else. Right below 300, start feeding in the throttle to slow my descent rate. And I'm looking for 120 whenever I come at the hover stop as far as altitude. Speed's going to vary. Uh, based on uh, basically wind, ship speed, and everything else. And I'm really not paying much attention to my speed as much as I am my AOA and my altitude coming in. A little high here, grab the meatball, can see that I'm a little high, no big deal, we'll just lead off some, uh, lead off some altitude. A good line up position here, really trimming. I'm constantly trimming this jet while I'm doing this. 210, give it a little power, sort of slow my descent, 190. Still at 60 degrees nozzles. I hold my nozzles all the way at 60 until right at the very end whenever I go into hover stop, which is why I set my stow stops because it makes it easy. Still 60 on the nozzles. Coming in, flying down, 160. Shows I'm a little low on the glide path, fit that up, 
And about right here, go ahead into hover stop. Five zero hover stop. Nose coming up a little bit to slow my approach speed. Watch my indicator, there's 120. I'm happy with that altitude. Maybe a little forward nose. Start looking at my landing spot. Go ahead and do a pause on this here. Um, show you how I cross over and what my corrections are doing. At this point, I would have already been moving over. Still good on altitude. Get my spot. Just a little bit of right stick deflection there and a lot, quite a bit of left rudder to hold my nose where I'm at. About midway, I start feeding in left aileron to correct it. Just slowly work my drift over, watching my tram line, correct my nose angle. Should be about eh, 40, 50 feet above the deck right here. I'm a little low and I'm kind of doing a little bit more pausing than what I would usually do. And go ahead and start bringing it down. Looking for my lineup, looking at the nose. Making sure everything's good, nice and controlled all the way. Brakes on, water off, nozzles moving forward to 10, and taxiing clear of the landing spot. As soon as I'm clear, I'll call deck green. That way the guy who's behind me knows he's got clear for the landing spot. 5-0 green deck. And that's pretty much it.